Right, we've got Mark White with us after, as a, as a, if you were a neutral, it'd be a cracking two all FA Cup tie. But what did you take out of today's game playing uh, Hayes and Yedin? Um, I thought it was a definite swings and roundabout game. I thought, um, I thought in the end, um, in the end, I thought a draw was probably the right result. Um, although at 2-1 up, I thought Hayes had chances to, to kill it off. But at 1-0, I, I think we scored a, a good goal. And I don't think, you know, I think um, Fuller, he gives a low head in the box, but he doesn't connect with the bloke and he puts it straight in the back of the net. So that's a strange decision um, when the guy's head was so low. But to be honest, we didn't do enough to win the game. I think combination of credit to Hayes and their work rate and endeavour was, was excellent. But, you know, we, we were so disappointing with, we were so off structure for us. Right. And we were doing things that we just never do. And, and Hayes drew us into that because their, their pressing, their harrying was really good. And, you know, I guess the, you know, the, the, the phrase is, I thought they bowled it. I thought Briggs gets goal of the round to take the lead. I mean, uh, unbelievable goal. I wouldn't say it was against the runner player. I wouldn't say it was with the runner player. I think it was just a scrappy game. And Briggs puts it in the stanchion. What an opportunity to put your foot on the ball, relax uh, and do the things we do. And we would just start going long. And we started, um, I don't know whether Thursday training was a bit too uh, heavy and their legs, but I looked at them and they weren't wanting to receive the ball in the areas they should. And then we ended up then defaulting to going long, which whenever we do that, we make the opposition look better. But um, yeah, I was disappointed, guys. I thought in front of our fans today, it's a great, and one nil up, it's a great opportunity to go through. Um, and that is going to be, you know, um, obviously we've got a great chance Tuesday, but it's going to be a, based on what I've just said to them, um, it's going to be a, they're going to have to mentally um, tune up, mate. Yeah. Um, you know, a couple of players today were, uh, and I've told them, and I, I don't think it's fair to oh, know, no, 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 talk no. here, but no. I thought a couple of players today were out of their depth mentally in, in terms of, you know, handling an occasion. Um, so I was disappointed all round, really, to be fair. Um, but, you know, obviously I thought the second half was split. I thought they had a great start. Niall got injured. Oh, that's why he did injured, yeah, was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niall got injured, so... That's another problem. Bobby Joe's got injured, another problem. Um, we, we, we're going to go there Tuesday with 13 players. But, but sometimes, um, that's what you need. 13 boys that give a shit, rather than 17 that are having a stroll, mate. And it, uh, I look today, for me, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative, I'm really not. But mm. if you look around and see boys strolling, you know, um, or not being aggressive and not making things happen in a, in a game of the magnitude of today, you know them boys are not with you. Simple as that. And, and we had three today that I thought were not with us in spirit um, at all. Because you leave it all out there. You know, I mean, I don't mind going down on, you know, endeavour and bad luck, but not when boys touch the ball four times in the first half or come on and, you know, just look like you know like a development team player you know so it probably sounds a little bit disrespectful um to Hayes and it's not because I actually think they're fantastically coached um and they're a great side that would be clearly um you know well in place in our league um but I thought that we kind of gifted them a performance with the way that we were just so um um anxious in our play sure positives obviously we're still in the act for the cup for the draw tomorrow we know who we'll be playing if we win so that could give you don't need an incentive to get into the first round i know that but that would help as well and you know you it's on grass would that be a benefit for, to, to the players i don't know and would anybody be back from injury will prior be back no no we'll, we'll have about 13 players by my reckoning maybe 14 um but I think they took a few today as well, guys. Yes, they did. A few come um, off. Number took a five. Few. Um, I, I just think, you know, you, you, we have to write this one off and leave it there. Yep. My Sunday be 
ringing up some of the players that I've not been that kind to. But they might need to put their hands up and um, accept responsibility, mate. Um, that's what I would say. Uh, that's a great chance today, guys, at home. Great chance. And then when when you sort of one of your star men puts it in the stanchion, mate, you know you you should go and throttle the opposition. And, and we didn't, mate. We turned our back on the game and we just sort of hoped we wouldn't lose. And, and that's the worst worst thing you can do. So disappointing, mate. If I'm honest, I can't dress it up. No, no, but no. full credit to Hayes. Well coached, great team, um, and very agile, very energetic. Well, we knew that, didn't yeah. we? We said all that before yeah. the game, didn't we? Yeah. Right, so we're going to be back down to their place. Have you been to their place, Tuesday? I don't know if you've been to their ground. Never been no. to their ground, so that's a new, there. no, be a new adventure for me. So uh, we'll be there on Tuesday and uh, hopefully get like in, the team are. Get, yeah, get in the, t the, day, uh, the game done for us. And hopefully the fans can, who are brilliant today. So I, I really appreciate all the fans. That shed, you know, that shed in is superb. Yeah, that is, you know, listen it's, to them it's singing. To become old school golf balls in socks and. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but it, listen, it's, it's it's brilliant, and I really appreciate the fans. And they, you know, two one down, they're singing us on. And you know, the average Wanderers fan must know that that's a, a real poor Wanderers performance. Yeah, I do. Honestly, I'm gonna say that I think we've done too much Thursday. I, I thought they looked a bit leggy, to be honest. Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's a blank canvas now. Um, and uh, anything goes, mate. Do you Is know it? what I mean? Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. It's an extra game we don't want going to Maidstone on Saturday. They'll be happy. Mm. Um, and um, we're, we're down to bare bones of players. Some funny results today, mind they've been. They've been some funny seen results. It, yeah. You've seen the results today. Yeah, seen a few, yeah. There's, uh, it's been a few upsets they have. So yeah, uh, th th this, this should have been a home win today in terms of, for me, our abilities. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Hayes nullified us. Done a great job. Drew into the game with confidence because they saw like they saw the lack of confidence in us. They saw the individuals, you know, when, when players go quiet and they don't fix things and they go into the problem and they just don't get quieter. You know, people seize that, they, they, it ups their, they up their game, they go 20% more and that's what happened. I, you know, to one nil, that's a great chance really to, to kill that game. And I'll say one thing, Hayes had a great t two one that they could have killed the game a couple of times, but I yeah. think we could have done um, a few times as well. Um, to be honest, um, so I do think a draw probably is the right result if you're being, you know, fair. A couple of pointers, and I'm not blaming these guys for the for the game. Obviously, the goal was disappointing, near post near post goal, which you think uh, Neil should have uh, should have dealt with that a little bit better. Maybe it was a hard shot, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to watch them back. When defensively, yeah. we're not good enough, and we haven't been all season. And Josh Taylor, what is, I don't. Want, you might not want to tell, tell me this, but what, does, what is Josh Taylor's position in that midfield? Because I, I, I would like to see him put a stamp on the game a little bit more, for me, that me personally. Yeah, I just think he's still learning how we play. Um, he's an advanced midfielder. We want him getting the ball, getting his head up and driving into space and then setting wingers. Um, I thought, he, I said to Josh, I think he'd done everything brilliant. Uh, the, his first stuff today was excellent. He, he, was, he was the one player that had the legs to get there, but it was his second stuff. Mm -hmm. his, you know, like his, um, you know, and I thought, um, yeah, so, yeah, that was the only disappointment there. But, you know, that wasn't for lack of trying, guys. I know. And, and I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind, um, I don't mind it if people are passionate and have a bad day at the office. Um, and I thought he had an okay day, but what, not as good as, as he can do. What I give it, what I really care about, are the ones that you just think, nah. If you don't fancy that, then it is really career over, to be honest with me. And look, that's just how it is, mate. I mean, would you, if you employ someone in your office, or if any one of our supporters employed anybody in their office to come in and do a job, and they look like they couldn't be bothered to do the job, why would you keep? Get Why would you keep them there, mate? Sure. You wouldn't do it, would you? So, so today was a bit of a barometer on that for me, to be honest. OK, well, thanks for your time, mate, after today. And uh, no doubt we'll see you on Tuesday and uh, hopefully we get, get a result there. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday, buddy.